And he'll throw him the pass. He got it. Here's George from. Oh! Throws it out to Paul George. No, no, it should have reset. No, oh, the, I can't believe that. You got to think Paul George has to get a touch at some point, and he does. The three ball quickly. Got it. Oh, and wow. one. Why, wow. George? Paul on the job. Incredible. Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Cindy Hardy. You're back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the best 6 9 rebounding wing the most quickest rebounding wing ever all right i'm gonna be honest with you this rebounding wing like i i use this um build for myself too and i just absolutely love this build like like it annoys other players like just because like you can do almost everything with this build you can honestly with every build you can kind of do everything only if you just like you know can know how to play with the build but this build that i'm about to show you is like really one of the most op builds now you're gonna want to make him a small four now if you want go ahead and make him a shooting guard but the thing is you can go up to six seven but i want to make him on six nine since i'm a rebounder i want to get like the most rebounds i've been seeing the six seven versions but the thing like they might have like a better three point and be a little bit more quicker but i want to make six nine because i'll get more rebounds so let's uh go to continue and uh, oh yeah you can it doesn't matter like right what handed if people choose left just they think that it's harder to guard or something but go ahead uh pick right so for the pie chart now rebounding wing now it's a rebound like the pie chart should be having rebound and shooting so this is what we're looking at right it's a it's a good like all around pie chart if you're trying to look for one um it has amazing defense in this too so when i was making this uh, rebounding wing i honestly wanted to make a pure lock okay pure uh, six nine lock yeah, the speed doesn't matter, you know, I just wanted to shoot a little bit, so that's why I chose a shooting one and make him, like, you know, get the arms max and all that. Now, with the speed, you can choose any, but I went with the uh, agility one. Now, I'm going to tell you why, because I'm a 93 or 94, I believe, with my rebounding wing, and I have a 77 speed. And once you do the Gatorade boost and all that, and this all maxes out, and you hit 99, you'll have almost uh, an 89 speed or 90 speed, and you know how that's really amazing. I, wait, so 82 plus 4, which is 86, and then plus 5 is like 92 or something. So, yeah, this this is like going to be a really good build. A 92 speed has a 6.9 small forward. That's amazing. Now, what you want to do is max out the close shot, max out the driving lip, max out the driving dunk. Now, as you can see, you have three finishing badges, so you want to put some up, just enough to have... Uh, four finishing badges so 33 on standing dunk so just leave it at that um max out mid-range max out basically max out everything now this is all personal preference if you want to because you can take down two wait hold on one one two yeah you can take down two on either free throw or post feet um i actually took down two on free throw because i don't really play rec like that and i can i'm good with a 70 free throw but i want to keep uh, finishing uh not finishing my bad shooting badges and I do a lot of post fades in the game, so I'd rather keep that. But it's all, all up to you. You can take down two for post fade or free throw. Now, mid range and three point, we're going to need that. So we move on to um, playmaking. Right now, we're going to hold hold on to that. We're not going to go that to, uh, to that later. We're going to max out interior defense, perimeter, lateral, steals, blocks, everything basically. Now, y'all have eight attribute upgrades left, all right? 20 defensive badges is really good. Now, some people just max out the finishing, but you don't get any another badge for finishing, so there's no point. Just go back down to eight, and I just put it on ball control just to have like you know a little bit. Now here's the thing. Now I said earlier, and on the clips you just saw, uh, saw before, I was dribbling really well with the rebounding wing. All right. Now I'm gonna sh drop a dribbling tutorial how to dribble like that. I do that with my interior force too. If you've seen one of my clips from back then. So with that one playmaking badge, we're just gonna put it on like quick first step or something. Now, the body shape, you can do anything you want. Um, I put built just to make my player look taller. Apparently in the game, if you make your player built or burly, you look like you're a little bit taller. You look like you have an extra inch. So this player will be look like, will look like 6'10", but like he's listed 6'9". So I make my player 6'9". You can go ahead and make him 6'7", but I, like I said, I want to catch more rebounds, so I'm going to be 6'9". Oh, my bad. It's not, you're not going to have like a 90 speed, but you're still going to have like amazing speed though. Um, so with the weight, I went with 232 because you don't really go 
down and you don't go and you but you go up your interior defense goes up plus one and you have a good like an okay strength of 64 strength uh strength is not really key in the game it's like all about speed and vertical 64 and vertical that's pretty good you can uh one of my friends maxed their uh thing out i didn't really like want it because the acceleration is really low so i went with 232 so yeah um now with the wingspan you can make it the shortest but look at your ball control like still not it, like it doesn't even matter um the three point is like better but i think you'll get the name mineral specialist i believe and the steel is only a 70 but i want to have like a, i want to be like a pure lock who can shoot if i have at least like a 63 now i go all the way up now that's what i was so surprised about i was like oh 72 3 that's actually really amazing because i was looking for like a pure lock build who can shoot a little bit like have a 63 you know what i'm saying but then i look and i'm like oh there's a 72 that's really good and you have a 70 driving dunk which can give you the pro pro dunks basically like the park dunks you can, um, you want now i look at the ball control it's 42 and that's not bad like i said i'm gonna drop a dribbling tutorial how to like do the little spin move thing um and the blocks and the steals are really good 75 88 88 blocks you can be snagging over everybody and uh the defense rebound everything's like all good it's all set nothing really goes down so all right with the takeover options glass cleaning lockdown and sharp shooting okay now all three of these are nice now when i looked up 2k lab they're saying that glass clean is actually the best option for this now you can go ahead and choose glass clean this is all personal preference if y'all want to go with lockdown go with sharp shooting you can do that now what you call a friend of mine went with sharp shooting and he can really shoot a lot but like it takes him forever to get his takeover and that's what's kind of disappointing about that so I, that's why i didn't pick sharp shooting and then with glass cleaning if you're i was if you would want to pick glassing cleaning it make a glass lock it's basically the same build but like a little bit taller but a little bit slower but um the gla uh, choose glass cleaning now i went with lockdown because i want to clamp people up you know what i'm saying and this gives you additional strength they're saying see like steals and shot contests allowing them to clamp them down even the best scores in the game now i want to lock down and you'll get the name rebounding wing right here so rebounding wing. six nine rebounding wing. now you go, we're gonna go to test build real quick i'm just gonna show you all the badges all right all right finishing now here's the thing you can choose anything you want but i want a contact finisher so i can dunk on people more and fancy focus on bronze because i've been doing a lot of hop steps and like be finishing bump people you can always go like with this with silver and with that you can always like you know adjust everything or, like you know make them both even but i want bronze for fancy forward because it's all right like, that's all i need and gold contact finisher now with the shooting badges i went with two of my favorite shooting badges in the game which can allow anybody can shoot if you ever had a if you ever have a build who has at, at the very least six potential badges that's like an okay shooting build like a rebounding wing but this build is really consistent quick draw and range sender the range sender is so amazing i'm telling you it's one of the most overpowered build, uh not builds my bad badges quick draw is just to have like you know your jump shot faster and i love my quick draw on the hall of fame anything lower than that like you know it's gonna be very difficult for me to shoot now I went with these two, you can, and with the rest you can go with anything you want, you still have 9 available upgrades, I went with Green Machine on Gold, uh, Hot Zone Hunter on Silver, Hot Star on Silver, and Dead Eye on Silver, yeah, either that or you can just take out um, hot, hot Start and put it on difficult shots just to make your player like a little bit of a shot cleaner, you know, but if you want like a spot up shooter then go ahead with Steady Shooter, but I chose Hot Start, oh, oh my bad, I chose difficult shots, I changed it earlier. Now with the playmaking badge, just to make your player a little bit more quicker, go with a quick first step. Now you can always choose downhill since you're a rebounder. Like when you catch the rebound, you can like be really fast for the whole possession until you stop with the ball. Now if you stop with the ball, you can always pick it up again and get quick first step. And my interior force has uh, both of these on goal, so like he's insanely fast. It makes him feel like he has a plus 10 speed. Not, not saying he does, I'm just saying it feels like it does. Now 20, you can do anything with this, right? you have 20, you can get a lot. Now go with 3 pound Chaser Hall of Fame, Protector Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame, Clamps Hall of Fame. Now with the next 4, you can do it on anything. I do it on Interceptor. Now I always be intercepting the ball all the time at the 2s. 
if you're a two player, I should just uh, intercept it. But if you're like a wreck or a three player, put on like chase on uh, artist on silver, and, like pickpocket just to like you know steal the ball. But if you're gonna be running like the big, then I should just like post move lockdown or something, and that's it. All right, uh, this is the rebounding wing. Now